Tak ada kau Dog aggression is tricky and uh, it's not going to be all good when you first start off, especially when they're the same sex. Uh, you got to work into it slow. You may have some bumps. You may have dogs that try to challenge each other, but you got to keep at it. This is the only way you'll be able to fix that and get that out of their system. And it's not a forever fix. It's just fixed for that situation. For them to understand that the handler is in full control of the situation and not the dog. So that's what we're going to be working on with today with Dottie with and uh, Bella so that we can uh, get them going great. This is gonna be a, a, a training sessions alone. Uh, outside of that, Dottie and uh, Bella have an issue with this and it needs to be addressed. So that's what we're doing today. We're working with some dog on dog aggression, uh, fence aggression, and so, uh, leash aggression towards other dogs. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. You guys stay with us and watch how we start to get the dogs acclimated to the training and we fix a lot of those issues. All right, so addressing dog on dog aggression is a very touchy topic and most trainers won't touch it. And if they do, they really won't show you how they do the right, training. Off, They'll just post you a video afterwards. And then that pretty much sums up what you need to know about it. And you really probably don't want to know what they did, but this is the proper way to do it. So you want to start by slowly the introducing girl. the dogs in a calm state. You want the dogs to see each other, be near, be near each other, but not in contact with each other. That's the first state of mind Good is girl. calming down the mind of the aggression Good towards girl. each other so that they can interact with each other without trying to bite and attack each other and go crazy. So the calm state is the first step. It's just calming the dogs down to a state to where you can start to work with them, however long that takes. Then you're going to move into bringing them closer together. It. Having the dogs nearby each other but not able to contact each other, you're starting to control the situation of the dog acting aggressive whenever they are around another dog. You need to condition the dog to not be a maniac whenever they come near another dog and try to kill the dog and attack the dog. So just taking a brief walk with the other dog back and forth will help this. Now you're gonna probably get tension and pulling on the leash because they're gonna wanna try to get to each other, but you're gonna have to do your best to control the dogs to keep them separated. In this, in this portion of the video, I'm gonna have stand still while me and Dottie walk Dottie. around her in a circle. This is uh, a very uh, touchy part of training because Bella has to walk, I mean Dottie has to walk around nope. Bella behind her nope. back which is not a good place for a dog to be because the other dog that's sitting still may possibly think that that dog walking behind him is trying to attack them. So this is a trust factor. Bella needs to trust Brian that I'm not going to let Dottie attack her from behind. So we're starting to build trust in this game that is she doesn't have to be on the defensive all the time. And now we're going to have Brian do the same thing and walk around the circle so that Dottie can start or uh, can start to understand that I have control and I'm not going to let Bella attack her from behind. So we're conditioning the dogs to be in the same area, to be around each other and not attack each other. This is the first step of this phase of introducing the dogs with a proper introduction to being in the same area, being under control, controlling their temperament and their behavior. This does not mean once you finish five minutes of this training 
that the dogs are going to be fine and you can just do it. This may take a couple of sessions, but you have to control the dog's mind that they're conditioning to them to not be an aggressive whenever they are around another dog. And if you saw it right there, Bella leaned forward a little bit. So Leave you have it. to watch the dog's body language and you're going to have to keep giving them commands. You're not going to be able to just walk away from it and not interact with the dog. So this is where we are with that. So again, getting the dogs nearby each other, getting the dogs in the same environment, calming down their mind state is the first step in dealing with dog on dog aggression. Most of the time dogs are aggressive because of two things, out of fear and dominate. One dog wants to dominate the other dog and another dog is fearful that they're gonna get attacked by the dog. So those are the two things you have to look at. In this video, in this portion, we can tell that Dottie has a little fear aggression and Bella has domination aggression. So those things will translate over to leash, fence, crates, everything above if you don't start to deal with it and get your hands around it. Fear aggression is a lot easier sometimes to fix than dominant aggression because dogs that are dominant and they're aggressive with it, that's something that's really strong in them and it's hard to bring down a lot of times without getting them fixed and sometimes that does not work. So again, we repeat the training and we just keep doing it over and over again where the dogs get used to training in the same area. All right, so of, dealing uh, with dog aggression, uh, you have to be careful. You have to do it in a slow up, up aggression. It takes a couple uh, tries, but eventually you get it. Uh, you have to work the dogs up. You can't just run right into training. So you have to work the dogs up. You can't just run right into training. You have to get them accustomed to each other. Two females are gonna to wanna to dominate. Good thing about two females, you can control them a lot better than two males, uh, two big dogs. Uh, so we do in, in suggestions of having them in the same area with each other, uh, using the e-college for the training and getting them used to it. You can see things can go wrong real fast if you're not watching body language, but uh, thankfully no dog is injured in uh, training. So this is the only way you can in introduce aggressive dogs. You got to put them with other dogs. You just can't uh, hope and pray for the best, but you actually got to do the training. So that's what we are with uh, Bella. Is we're doing a training with her and uh, after we're doing this for a week we should be able to put these two together without having an issue uh, we just continue on but this is the first level of dealing with animal aggression is actually having to introduce the dogs to the dogs that haven't been around the dogs so that they get they're not scared of the training and then you can uh, de-escalate that aggression it mostly is driven upon fear of other dogs and domination so those are your two problems that you're going to have with fear aggression and the only way you can fix it is by bringing the dogs together in an enclosed environment and, and getting them used to the other dog to let the dog know that they're not going to be uh, defensive of another dog. But until you do it, you don't actually know what the outcome is going to be. So that this is uh, dealing with animal aggression, unleash uh, pressure, unleash aggression, offense aggression, and domination. So Make her sit. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Sit. Stay. Leave it. Leave it. Um, a lot of it is false aggression, but it's introducing the dogs together so that they're not being aggressive once they're in contact. A lot of it starts with barriers like fences, and we'll start by slowly introducing the dogs by bringing one dog out to walk around the, the fence line while the other dog sees it and start initiating the no command and to bring that level down. We're just gonna be conditioning the dogs to be near each other, then beside each other, then playing with each other. Madison Bell, German Shepherd.